Hello everyone and welcome back to JL Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to send an SMS message from your VB.NET application. So um, to start off with I've just made a blank VB form as you can see here. We're going to add in a few different things here. So we're going to add a text box and we're going to copy and paste this four times. We're just going to get the, a generic um, layout uh, going first. Um, or whoever you know what we're doing and then we'll just add a black button and we'll just name this oops send sms um yeah i think that's it uh name it btn send sms right so we've got our generic form here and this is what we're going to use um, later on just to send our, our message so we're just going to save this and we're going to start off by going to this website here. It's textlocal.com. You can find it in Google. Just type, literally type in text local. And it'll be the second one you see, or the first one, whichever. And you're going to want to sign up for an account. Now, this is free to sign up, and you do get free text messages, but it does cost you um, to send texts after you've used your, your, you know, your, your credits. Um, so we're just going to enter our details here. You can set whether you're using this for business or personal. I'm guessing the price has changed whether it's business or personal, but we're just going to use personal for this example. And then we're going to hit sign up. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get an email. As you can see here, I've got the email open up here. We're just going to click this URL that it takes us to. And now we've got a few personal details that we're going to need to enter once the page loads. There we go. So we're just going to enter some details here and then we're going to enter a password. Now here you can see a default sender name, put this as whatever you want. I'm going to put this as JL Tech as this is what I want to come up when I send um, the email and then I'm just going to press activate account. So there you go, we've now activated our account, we're now signed in. Um, what we're going to do, let's close this off first, press the no and then press no, I know what I'm doing, press OK. So now we're, we're logged in on TXT Local, we've got our account all set up, we're going to go to settings and then API keys. And then we're going to create a new key. If you want to whitelist IP addresses you can do, however we're just going to leave it for everybody and we're going to press save new key. And there you go, this is our new API key. I am going to delete this after this video, so there's no point trying to use my key. Um, just save you the time before you go ahead and try it. So this URL is textlocal.com forward slash integrations forward slash API. So we're going to connect to their API SMS now. Um, if you press API documentation here, it's going to take you to this website here. And then we're going to hit this send button, send SMS. And this is the code that we're going to use to, you know, set everything up. So you can see the selected language. Here we're going to use VB.NET, but if you wanted to use C Sharp, you know, you can use C Sharp. It'll automatically tell you what code to use. Um, so if you want to do it in C Sharp, just follow the tutorial, but obviously just change the code relevant to C Sharp rather than VB.NET. So we're going to use VB.NET. There's two methods you can use. You can use the post method or you can use the get method. I'm going to use the get method. It's just a lot easier. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to copy all five notes here and then we're going to go back to our VB application we're just going to double click the form and above public class up here we're just going to paste those in. These are going to import all the modules we need for this to work and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to go back to this Oops. and we're going to pretty much just copy all of this um, and then we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our send SMS button and we're just going to paste that in and as always you should always comment on everything you do so we'll just put this line of code will send that SMS message just as uh, just so you know or any of anybody else spelt message wrong um, just so people know what your code does if you know you, you share this product or project or whichever so there's a few changes we need to make. Um, the first thing is we need to change um, this here. So we're going to dim API key as txt API key dot text. We're going to dim the message as txt message 
dot text dim numbers we're obviously going to get rid of this and we're going to do dim numbers as txt um, numbers dot text um, is that what I named it as? yeah I did, ok that's cool um, dim string get a string you can leave that blank we're going to dim sender as and then we're going to change this to txt oh, txt sender name dot text now you want to change this here so where it's just sender change that to sender name um, and then down here as well change that to sender name too um, just because we're obviously we're changing it um, so I think that's everything for there what we need to do now um, is we're just going to change what we're going to do is we're just going to remove this return result we're going to remove this we're just going to add comment strokes just so it comments it out and then we'll add a new message box so the message box we're going to have is message box dot show it's going to return the result so it'll show us how many credits we've got left the balance if whether it was successful or whatever uh, we want this to be an information so we're going to put that as an information box what we're going to do then is we're going to give us some buttons what message box buttons do we want we want ok once we have that we're just going to change the the icon so message box icon dot information so now when we enter in our details this is what's going to send um, you know this is what's going to happen um, so I think we're ready to test so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here and we're going to get our API key so we're just going to copy this and load up our application we're going to paste in our API key we're going to enter our mobile number the sender name we'll put as JL Tech and this is JL Tech thanks for subscribing to my channel now before I press send I'm just going to enable screen recording on my mobile device just so you can see this message coming through and if I now press send you can see that's returned the message and you can see the text message has come through if I click on this text message you can see a text message has come through this is JL Tech thanks for subscribing to my channel so yeah that's pretty much how you do it that's how you send um, SMS messages using TXT local um, via VB.net or C Sharp or whichever just using Visual Studio basically um, it supports a range of languages and um, so you're not just limited to you know VB or C Sharp you can you know use anything pretty much um, but yeah that's how you do it if you have any questions put them down below in the comment section if this helped you out at all feel free to let me know um, and subscribe to the channel help support the channel and it'll help me make more videos and let me know that you want to see them um, so without further ado thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video take care Oh.